a little rant. kiddos are watching TV and eating right now and usually I try to use this time to either chill or pick up things on the floor but I just want to take a moment and say hi we're just gonna have a chill day and I'm gonna show you what it's like to have three kids that are under three years old and how the day goes honestly it's quite dysfunctional half the time, but I'm trying to figure out like a good balance because if I am like just totally focused on my stuff every second of the day, I get like super, super drained at the end of the day. But if I don't do anything throughout the entire day, I get really stressed out by the next day. I'm trying to figure out good habits so I can keep the house clean and keep being productive without like getting burnt out but yeah, we'll see what i end up doing today huh? <laughs> also i've been feeling like super super overwhelmed for the past like honestly since i've had kids my life is just so messy and dirty my life me my house I'm at the point where I just want to throw everything away. Something about something about how I look right now is just like completely off and I think it's my face but I can't figure it out but um it's about <coughs> what Shade just took a nap for like an hour the boys are up. Ooh, I've been editing pretty much this whole time trying to figure out what to make for lunch and I don't know what's up but I'm just trying to figure out today I'm alone with the kids and I'm not alone with oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 
most it. I'm not alone with the kids a lot of the time during the day, but when I am, I'm like kind of lost because um, I don't even, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just. <laughs> I didn't know I had dimples all my life until I had my son because he has dimples and I was like, I don't know where they're from, but then I looked at my face and I realized I had dimples. Down. Down. Oh yeah, what I was saying was Aiden and Zai, they don't take naps unless we're in the car during the day. If I were to try to put them down for a nap during the day, it would take so long that I feel like I would just waste a lot of time but I also want to figure out a way that I can put them down for a nap or just have them in the room to relax during the day because I feel like that's good for development so if you have any suggestions on how to do that and keep them all contained and relaxed for like an hour or 30 minutes or something please let me know yes mama yes mama uh oh oh Um, this tree, the tree fell. Oh, Who did that? Oh, oh man. Yeah. This tree has been a problem for a while. A new tree, Chef Bojack. That's the dirt. It's the dirt. Dirt. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh. All right. All done. Thank you, Aiden, for your help. Look at these tomatoes. I love how they're different colors. We're making big moves today. Look what's happening. Because I was acting like he was sleepy, so I was like, we gotta try something. Because he kept tripping about what he wanted to watch on TV. And we went in there and laid down, and literally two minutes later, he was asleep. Bruh, some time has passed. I haven't really been doing a lot. I've just been trying to clean our room because it's a disaster. I just ordered. Uh, playpen mattress for Sade because we were having like issues with her sleeping at night and we have a playpen for her but she like absolutely refuses to sleep in the playpen so I'm trying to think like what what could possibly make her sleep there because she'll sleep on the boys' mattress our mattress but that's really it and we have cribs too, but like it's too big for our room. So I ordered a playpen mattress and it is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. I don't know why, but it's bringing me back to my childhood. You don't see this? Literally just opened it. So it still has to like air out, I guess, but it is so cute. Anyways, I just wanted to show that. I'm supposed to be going out with my friend, but Daddy Richard's taking forever to get home. I didn't even realize I took my eyelashes off. So what was I saying? I think I'm gonna have to cancel the plans, which really sucks because I haven't seen her in like almost a year. Before I had kids, I was always like very spontaneous with whatever I did. Like I could wake up one morning and be like, okay, we're gonna go to Canada. 
now it's like I have to think about everybody before I go anywhere and if something goes wrong like everything is canceled well just a little rant if you're a mom I feel like you might understand <laughs> It sounds hella good. Some peanut butter, some cilantro, some bread. But it's like missing something. That would be hella dry. Kiddos are asleep and I just want to eat something. But I'm so lazy. I just make a brownie. We chit chat while I'm trying to make this. So here's the thing about uh, being a mom that I'm still trying to figure out. I don't even, I don't work a nine to five. My whole being is taking care of the kids, right? So since that's me, by the end of most nights, I'm pretty tired. Right now it's eight o'clock. By this time, I just want to relax, but I spend the entire day trying to take care of them and do other things. But I find myself wanting to be productive at this time, but I'm not mentally capable of doing it. Like right now, I don't want to film anything. I want to just relax. I find myself feeling really guilty for not being productive enough and also guilty for not, I don't know. I don't know why I feel drained by the end of the night every night even though I'm not working. All I am is taking care of my kids. So I guess I feel bad that I feel like I need to recharge every day. And then I also feel really shitty because I feel like I'm not able to spend time with myself and my own being, so I'm not able to recharge that way. I don't know if that even makes sense, but if you don't know, I'm 23 now. Am I 23? No, I'm 24. And I got pregnant when I was 20, and I've been pregnant every year until this past year. So quite literally, my whole entire 20s has been me turning into a mom, which I love. But also, it's almost like I reminisce on before I was a mom because I had so much freedom. And it's almost like I want to like catch up to that. Like I wish I would have done more back then. And now that I have these three kids, I wish I had done all those things before I had them. So I wouldn't be sitting here trying to scramble up time to do the things that I actually want to do. For example, this whole entire YouTube channel is something that I've always wanted to do since I was like 12. And I didn't actually start it until I found out I was pregnant with my oldest son. Also, if you're wondering, I have enough time if I utilize my time properly, but it's just like I am so mentally drained sometimes or like I would even say I'm just being lazy and I wish I could change that like overnight, but I'm working on it and it's definitely improved over the time, but I just have this constant feeling of I'm not doing enough and like literally I'm not doing enough, but I know we're gonna get there. But if you're a mom of many or even just one and you feel this way also, please let me know because I don't have a lot of friends, period, but also I barely have any mom friends. It's really hard to talk about. I'm gonna cry, why am I crying? <laughs> it's really hard to talk about these things, especially when you don't have a lot of people that can literally relate to, but also 
when you're always in front of other people whether that be your kids your husband or friends or whatever like i don't have a lot of alone time it can just get overwhelming wow anyways if you are wondering this is my brownie it's like so good i used to eat this every day when i was pregnant with sade anyways yeah, this is the vibe that i get almost by the end of every night where I just don't want to do anything and I just think about like damn have I wasted another day even though I know I haven't wasted a day because like I'm raising these kids but it's like I want to do more than just my kiddos I want to just focus on myself again because before I was pregnant and everything like I was not taking the best care of myself like mentally or physically but i knew what i was capable of and if you just had looked at me you would think that i was really healthy and i want to you know take care of myself how am i supposed to take care of three other people when i'm barely taking care of myself <sighs> but yeah i'm gonna be okay and if you're going through the same thing or something similar you're gonna be all right too Thank you guys for watching this video and if you've watched to all the way to the end right here Anyways, I'll see you guys next time, okay? I'll see you next time. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time, okay? I'll see you next time. Good night. Oh, I can't let myself.